Boom, guys, listen, we're back. And I wanted to talk to you guys about core values and especially integrity. Listen, I have a, a lot of post-it notes over my desk in my room here. Um, and I wrote down a few core values a while ago. And right now I have five. I'm not gonna name drop them, name drop. I'm not gonna talk about them because I kinda wanna, I may, might wanna just split this up into a series and explain why these core values are what they are and how to develop them, what they mean, why they're so powerful. But integrity is so important. I, I answered this question on my Instagram a few days ago. Um, if, you were, if you were 18, uh, what's the best skill and what's the best values to adopt, right? And I said sales first and foremost. And second of all, I said integrity. Integrity is so important, guys. Integrity is so important. I have a lot of, I, like, I'll say this first. If you're ever making a list like this where you have all like values or certain rules and stuff, uh, this is something I learned during a selection for the conventional forces. Uh, you have to go through this in a small selection. It's not that big deal um, after you are conscript in the military. Uh, so you go through and you become a part of the conventional forces. It's cool. It's a bit of, uh, you know, crawling through the mud and cold stuff. And it sucks, you know, quite a bit. You go without sleep for, I think, three whole days. So you're kind of tired after the whole thing. So that's not that bad. It's not the special forces, but it's cool, right? Um, that's where I got started. So I learned there during that thing because we were, uh, like, told to, hey, let's, we have, we're in a group, right? We were told, hey, let's make some rules for this group by the instructor. The instructor told us, hey, let's make some rules for this group, okay? So, uh, for example, no complaining. And we ended up with a, a, a list of, I don't know, like 15 rules at first. And then the same day, later on, he was like, okay, guys, now we're gonna cut down that list from all these things, which ones would you rather stick with, all right? And I think we cut it down to like, I don't know, like six, six rules. Six rules for the group, what we would do, what we would not do, right? Uh, how we would attack the challenges ahead. And essentially, just cutting down that made it so much more efficient because a lot of the stuff you put down on these lists, uh, they're the essentially duplicates. They're duplicates of each other, right? And so I have right here, I have five now, and I know that having five like core values, I think that's too much even. I think that's too much. The closer we can get to one, the better. And so for that selection too, further on, I think the next day he was like, hey, guys, let's cut down the list. Can we get left with like three or something? It was like nothing at the end. And so we were left with these three rules for the group, which essentially um, uh, define what we would do and not do. Just like we went from 15 or something down to three, and we were still able to perform uh, all the old rules tasks as 15, right? Because a lot of the stuff is detailed, as mentioned. So when guys, when you guys are going out there and you want to define your core values, what do you believe in in life? What do you want to live up to? You guys should do this actually. You guys should actually go out there and uh, think like, hey, what, what, is, what are my beliefs? Why do I believe it? Hey, and uh, you know, and you know, write this stuff down. Write this stuff down, right? And then you can look at it. You can put it up uh, above your wall. I do this. I do this for like if I have a goal, I write it down on a piece of paper, don't, just on my phone. I put it above my bed, uh, for example. When I was in the military, I, in my um, apartment there, I had the special forces uh, entry requirements on my wall. I would cross them off and update them every time I'd, uh, you know, retested or checked if I could do the requirements, right? That's, that's much more helpful. Also, guys, get a separate pen or pencil for those lists. Do not use the pen that you're using for whatever. Take, a, take some, you, you fasten it on the wall, right? Then you fasten a separate pen, a certain pen that you're gonna use for just that next to it. Why do we do this, right? Bit of a digression here in a way. But essentially when we write stuff down, just like we're doing here with core values, core values, <clears throat> we're essentially manifesting it. And I don't want to go, go all Mr. Miyagi on you guys, but uh, when we put, make stuff physical, instead of, hey, putting it on a phone, for example, it has so, so much more power to it because we're going through the motion of it. My hand is writing the, it, my hand is writing the letters. I have to get a paper I have to print it out, like for the, for the um, Special Forces uh, selections. I have to print, I print it out. I went to the, uh, to the library in the military camp and I printed out the requirements. They were on the, I could have found them online. I could have, I could have found them online. Uh, I could have looked up my phone every day. Okay, this is the requirements. Oh, I know I got this, I got that, right? I could have just known that. 
I could have done that. But I went to the library and I printed out the sheet, the whole web page where it said, I need to do this, I need to do that. And then I got myself a pen and I you know, plastered it on the wall, right? Uh, above my bed. And so each night I could go to bed and I could look at that. That's what, that was powerful to me. And so my mind was locked in. I was focused on this task that I had ahead of me. And I absolutely nailed it. Not the first time, but the second time I did. And so this worked, right? This works. And this goes for anything. I see this, like uh, a friend of mine uh, called Jack. He uses notes. Uh, he uses a lot of notes. I've been at this place. There's notes hanging on his kitchen cabinets and stuff. Um, I don't read it, though, because it's his stuff. But um, that's you know, his, his thing. But you guys should do the same. You should make this a physical thing. Whatever goal you have in mind, take a paper, write it down, have a separate pen, goals, and especially when it comes to core values like this, because you can look at it and you can remind yourself why you're here, what your purpose is. And I want to talk to about, guys, about loyal, no, I mean, uh, integrity, integrity. I want to talk about integrity, because this has stunned so much for me. Integrity is one of my core values. I actually haven't put it down on the list, because I'm going to update this list, just like I talk, talked about. I have five here. I'm going to cut this list down of my core values. I'm going to cut this list down, and make it absolutely sparkling clean. So we have a few simple rules for life that's going to guide us even further. That's what I want to do. And I have a good sense of what those values are going to be already just by looking at my list here. So integrity, right? What is it? It's essentially just living up to your word. Boom, video done. No, I'm just kidding. But living up to your word, guys, is so important. I think a lot of the reason why I'm standing here and talking to you guys in this, first and foremost, phenomenal shape, right, is because I decided to uh, stop with excuses and live with some integrity. And I, I think that, I know, I know that the reasons for me being here, and I'm not saying that, hey, I'm in a fucking phenomenal position, but I, I am in, I'm in a very good position. I, I'm very grateful. Uh, but I'm also, uh, I, think, I think a lot of the reason is that because I, I, I realized what was wrong. I t took a look around me and I realized what was wrong, what was working and what was not working, and I decided to change that. I said, go ahead and you know, create actions. And I decided to become relentless about living up to those actions. So whenever, like this started back in like high school, when people were you know, out drinking, right? And I don't wanna you know, sound like uh, you know, all pretentious about this stuff, right? Uh, but people were out drinking, I didn't wanna go drink. I wanted to go gym, okay? This is what I wanted to do. Um, it was interesting, right? Drinking wasn't interesting to me. Going to gym was interesting. But also, it's the fact that I said, hey, I, I, I want to do this. And I was not going to do, uh, let anything uh, stop me from doing that. And like, just that action itself, like, you start really, really small. And now it's been, it comes to the point because you build that discipline, right? Discipline is like, it's essentially a cousin of integrity, right? Because all these things that come up through life, there's all these situations, right? You have all these situations, your car broke down, this happened, this happened, this happened. But you said you would do this, so it will be done. Simple as that. All these unknown factors is what we prevent by living with integrity. All these unknown factors that want to, you know, sweep the rug from under our feet when we, when we go through life, that is prevented by integrity. By having that as a core value and actually living up to the standard that we set for ourselves, we develop character and we develop this skill or this value of integrity. And that's something that people look up to. People look up to people who uh, live with integrity. People who live up to what they're going to, who live up to what they say they're going to do. A lot of the reason like, people uh, found my Muay Thai fights so interesting is because I, I came here, right? I came to Thailand, and then I started my training, right? And I already said before, and listen, I'm not doing this just to train. I'm going, for, I'm going to do a fight. And it's like, okay, a lot of talkers, right? We're going to get back to this point, a lot of talkers. But we go ahead and we do the fight, and we win, and we perform well, and we immerse ourselves in the sport, and we develop a really, really high level of skill in a very short amount of time because we said we were going to do it. And it's so important. It's so important in this day and age, right? Because as I said, all these distractions, you have this, you have that, you have this, you have that, right? But when it comes to this point, exactly, you have all these talkers, right? Everyone's out there. They're talking, right? I know I'm good at talking, 
But to talk, 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 talk. All this talk, all the talk, all the talk. I talk with people all the time. They're saying they want to do this. They're saying they want to do that. What do you really want to do, huh? Listen, nothing is going to happen without some action. We want to see some fucking performance here. We don't want to see people talk anymore. We're tired of that. We've seen it. It's on Instagram. Everyone's talking. Everyone's talking about this. Oh, 10K a month. Oh my God, do this in the gym. Oh my God, do this. Oh my God, I'm that. But listen, unless you look the part, which is a part of this, looking the part, but also living up to the words that you actually speak, then does it really matter? Because it's, it's all like, you have all this blub around you. Boom, boom, boom. All this blubber that goes on around. And so the only thing that's true and that's real, that's raw, is the action to follow that up. And that's why integrity is so important, especially in today's age, okay? With these distractions and everything, all right? Um, but yeah, it's done so much for me, living with integrity. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I'm perfect. That is like, uh, that there's times where I like, some stuff happens, right? Stuff happens, but I make my I make I make making my best effort to live up to everything I say, and that's also something. Don't talk too much. Don't say you're gonna do this. Don't say you're gonna do that. Keep it more to yourself, right? Because people like if you go and talk too much and you don't follow it up, then you're gonna be looked at as like someone who's not an action taker, someone who's not living up to his word. And so the first thing to do if you want to do this thing is to be quiet. Is to be quiet and keep your head down and focus. Focus on your goals, what do you wanna do, okay? You don't need to say it to everyone, you don't need to announce it. I'm a, I'm a big fan of not announcing goals. Because usually, what happens when you start announcing goals and oh my God this and oh my God that, is that it doesn't happen, okay? It doesn't happen. For some reason, the universe just, you know, it just rewards people who keep their head down and work towards their goal. Once you're there, you can start talking, okay? I burned myself many times on this. I've been talking, I've been running my mouth. Ba 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 Nick was saying this, right? What happens? Oh, the rug gets swooped up from under his feet. <laughs> Boom! It doesn't happen, right? And so I'm not saying to be all scared and tired of saying that you're, you're gonna be there, you're gonna do this and you're gonna do that. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, hey, Make sure that what you like want, like what you're doing and what you're working towards, is actually followed up by some action. Because if not, we're lacking that, in, like in, we're lacking that part of us. Integral, integral. That's another word. Integral, right? It's bound to us. Integrity, right? We're lacking that if we go around and run our mouths all the time. And you know, I'm, you know, I know, I, I know I yap a lot. No, I don't yap. Like, actually, this is all pure value for you guys. But, but I make sure to live up to everything I say. I, I do, I swear I do, right? And I can say that with confidence too. It's no problem for me. And I'll tell you this though too. If you don't live up to what you're saying, right? And you have this core value of integrity, then at least looking in the mirror and be like, hey, you said you were gonna do this, but you didn't do it. What's going on? What's going on, right? Have we talked too much? Is this a way more difficult task? Do we need to restructure this in some way? What's going on here? Man to man. I'm looking in the mirror. I'm not saying this. I, I'm talking to myself like someone I care of, just like you should. You should care for yourself. You should talk to someone like you're caring for them. Because, you, you know, in reality, that's what you're doing. You're trying to make the best version of yourself, right? And so being real with yourself and being like, hmm, what's going on here? Why, where, where did we step wrong? We take a bird's eye view, we analyze the situation, right? And we find out, hey, what can we do better? What can we do better to actually live up to what we're gonna say the next time? So we don't start running our mouth and become one of the talkers, right? It's us, see this guys? It's us versus the talkers, right? The people who blabber, blah, 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 right? It's us, the notorious army. Guys, by the way, I just wanna say this. Uh, I have a free, free community now, I just released it. It's tons of guys there. Muay Thai in Thailand and all this crazy stuff. You can check it out, it, it, tons of, it's all free. You can go check out, it's in down in the description right now. Uh, check it out, free, 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 all free, right? Good stuff for you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank you guys so much for the support. I really, really appreciate you. Guys, I really appreciate you. And if you want to support the channel more, just, I don't, you know, I don't need anything, but please just share the videos, okay guys? Hit that subscribe button, press the like button, and share the videos. Okay, heart to heart, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, zoom, 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 and God bless. Boom!